The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, uh, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. A lot of things happening, folks. Uh, I posted the chart of the uh, UK market. As you can see, it was poised to go higher, and it certainly has. But I think the thing that we need to focus on today. By the way, uh, I will, I will, I will be here tomorrow. But I have to cut the short uh, session today. I'll be done at the half hour break. Cannot be helped. Anyway, let's take a look here at what the market's really doing in the eyes. Well, let's give you let's give you a little Christmas present. Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. But this is what you live for, folks. If you do what I do, and that means look for little patterns. I uh, don't have time to post this for anywhere, but you can see here that we have just hit the 382 retracement of the Treasury bonds. It's taken four days to get there, and it's exactly at 160. You don't have to risk more than 180 bucks on this, boys and girls. Look at the last time that it did this. Go back between the 16th and the 22nd they're very similar and right at the 382 uh, and believe me if you look at this you just have to say hmm that's even uh, that's even trading with the trend for God's sake but let's take a look here yesterday here's what this was what's really interesting yesterday folks because when the market closed it looked like it was could go either way it, it was breaking hard and it came back really quickly but looking at the Nasdaq yesterday here's where the whole thing changed because once it went above that 14,850, that said that we were getting ready to move. Now, if we go back and look what we've been watching all along on this, this is a uh, four-hour chart going back for almost a month. If we take a look at this, you're going to see what I think we're looking at. What we're seeing here is we're seeing a breakout here, and we're going to make another ABCD pattern up here. Some probably maybe at 15,180, 15,200. We're right at 15,000 right now. And uh, if we if we get up to that area, that's going to make that a 135 pattern. And that's this is still a bear market. This is the first really super clear ABCD pattern in a bear market. And so I think that's what I'm looking at. You know, I just give you what I see. Uh, it was easy, to, you know, it, well, not easy, but I mean, once we went above uh, in the S&P, once we went above 43.65 yesterday, that was uh, uh, clearly was telling you that it really wanted to go higher. So that's neither here nor there. I've been asked to talk just a tad about uh, Facebook, and believe me, it's going to be a tad because I don't do stocks, but this is what we were looking at yesterday. If you remember a day before yesterday, actually it was yesterday, you'll notice we, no, that was 11th, sorry. Anyway, we we got down to that uh, 318 level. We're up about 11 bucks from that level, and that's that's all I can tell you. It's a completed pattern, no more, no less. That's all I'm watching here. Also on that uh, Japanese yen, uh, the uh, market. Hold on one second. We'll get this up here to take a quick look at it for you. You'll see here. Uh, the Japanese yen did make that pattern up there. It sold off quite a bit. The euro has made some type of a bottom, and we were finally able to get long this morning. So we're going to see if that's going to work or not. But the risk on that is very, very small. Now let's move on to the crude oil contract because this is the XLE. I want to measure it to you right here. Hold on, just give me a second. And you'll see here, when, once you look, look at this, you'll see that we did have that three drive to a top pattern. Now those of you that trade crude oil, You'll, re you'll notice that this morning uh, we made up exact, I mean within three pips of the exact 78% level from 82, uh, 82.23 down to that 79 and change. That 78% level came in at 81.60. The high was 81.63. It's already broken $1,500 from that spot. So that's what we're trying to do is when we try to find these where you got a lower probabilities of losing than winning and that's what we're trying to do keep our losses as small as we possibly can i do want to remind everybody try to be on the show on the 20th of october that's when we're going to have a jim bartoleone on and jim's going to be talking to us about currencies particularly this one which was the japanese japanese yen versus the u.s dollar and that'll be an interesting one 
to watch and unfold. Now, we've got another situation going on here uh, in the gold market. Yesterday, we had a big move in gold. We got above 1,800, and we got up to that 1,802 level. 1,802 was very important, folks, because if you look at it from an ABCD structure, that was spot on, 1,802. Uh, you have to go back and look at the charts themselves. I don't particularly have that one right now. I'll try to have it uh, uh, tomorrow, but I don't have it right now, and I'll, I'll show it to you uh, tomorrow. How's that? Anyway, that's the main thing. The reason, the, the key the key to watch about the gold, the open interest went up in gold and open interest went up in silver. Those are all positive signs. It didn't go up a lot, but they went up a little bit. But if we take a look at what's happening to silver now, silver did, uh, we, we did, Silver got up above 2340 for a little while today, but the 382 was yesterday at 2315, and once we went above that, that's what gave. Uh oh, I can't do that right now. Just a second here. Uh, just a second here. I, 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 I just let it ring in there. I'll get it. Sorry, folks. I'll. I'm just give me a break. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. Uh, okay. I'm sorry. There we go. Nothing I can do about that one, folks. All right, let's take a. Uh, uh, anybody? Does anybody have any questions this morning here? Because the, we markets are really jumping around a lot, and uh, the, the, and it, it. Well, that's my two cents worth. <laughs> we'll see what happens. <laughs> okay. Now let me double check what the market is doing right now because we have so much going on. I want to be able to see uh, where we are. Um, take. Take, uh, let's just give you a little two cents worth, folks, and I'll just give you an idea of what I'm looking at here. Th this is a very high probability. I don't know if it's going to work or not, but this is a very high probability because this thing has been following absolutely perfectly since the middle of the night last night around 12 o'clock New York time. And it says that around 1130 in about 20 minutes, uh, be really careful being short or being long because this market could roll over from that level. Now, if we look at the if we look at the S and P just from a pattern standpoint, you can see that. Let's get rid of some of these little lines that I have on here so you can see it a little bit easier. You'll be able to see that uh, what we're doing here is we are approaching that old high that we had back here at 44.19, 44.21. And we're not very far away from that. We're at 44.14. Now, I would love to see that thing get taken out in the next 15 minutes or so because that tells me that this thing should start to roll over at that time. Now, we'll revisit this tomorrow, but that's the main thing that we want to be paying attention to. Regarding that bond, folks, uh, that number on the bonds was exactly 160 is the 382 level. The high has been 160.03. The risk on that is six ticks. If it gets above, uh, if you lose more than $180 on that, stand aside because it's that accurate. It doesn't miss it by very much. So remind ourselves that it's a, not about how much money you make. It's about how much money you don't lose. And that's about the minimum that you can do on a contract that's worth, you know, substantially over $100,000, only risking, uh, you know, $200 on it is uh, really quite, uh, quite interesting to look at. Now, I will do this. So let me give me one second here. And I will bring up this chart here on the gold. And we'll be right back. 877-927-6648. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks, and I posted the chart, the four-hour chart on the gold. You can see the pattern that I was looking at, the three-drive pattern there. And then uh, right behind that, I posted the daily chart on the gold, uh, looking at the same thing. So it has potential to be very, very bullish. There's a great deal of resistance at the 78% level at 18.12. And the reason why I say a, a lot of resistance is because look how far behind the silver market is versus the gold. And and folks, <laughs> it's pretty hard for gold to have a bull market and silver not have a bull market. So uh, we, we could be very close to breaking out to the upside. Uh, certainly a possibility of that, but we'll have to uh, let the trading gods determine whether that's going to happen or not. A lot of emotionalism in the market like we've been expecting. Tremendous volatility. And I believe that what we're looking at here is none other than an ABCD pattern completing. Uh, we could certainly go up to that uh, 4440 level uh, without any trouble at all in the S&P and also get above uh, 15,200 in the NASDAQ. I don't think we can do that in the NASDAQ because it's, it's, it has such a bearish pattern. But again, that's what we're looking at. And I've had several questions uh, about the natural gas because it's a really a great uh, market to trade. Let's get up here and take a quick look at it. I'm going to put the uh, the, uh, I'll look at the GDX in just one second, Bob. Let me finish here with natural gas, and then we'll do that. There's the natural gas contract, folks. I haven't drawn in the uh, haven't drawn in the ratios yet or not, but you might be interested in the fact that uh, what today's high was. I'll get up here and take a look at it, and then we'll get to the GDX for Bob. There's the exact high was uh, at 595. Uh, hit it to the exact tick. Excuse me, 597. The high was 596.70, and uh, now we've broken down about $8 from that level. Now let's take a quick look here at the old Golden Stock Miners Index for Bob. And here we're going to get it up here, looking at it pretty quickly here. Ah, we've got a nice move coming on here. Hold on one second here. This is one we were looking at, and uh, we'll pull that to see where we were. There's where the error, okay, there's, we'll get it up here looking at, we were looking for a possibility for it to get down to the uh, 2884, we only got down to uh, 2895, uh, we missed that by half a buck, now it's had a pretty good rally, uh, gap up today, Th this might be, uh, this might be the huge, uh, the big move, folks, I, I, I have to say that it could be, we have to clear 3370, 
uh, in the GDX in order to, to prove that, but uh, it missed that buy point down there. And believe me, we were trying to buy gold, and every time we tried to buy it, we were always $10 off. But, uh, you know, I don't like to chase markets, so sometimes I should, I guess. But anyway, that's, uh, that's what we're watching here in the GDX. It's got a pretty good chance here of a pretty good move, just the way it's exploded off the bottom here. So we have to really, uh, really look at that one very, very closely. Also, that U.S. dollar, uh, you know, that dollar index, we finally were able to buy the euro. And uh, we're going to find out if that's going to be correct or not. But uh, at least we were able to get in that trade because uh, we saw the bottom coming in. We missed the bottom uh, by a heartbeat. Uh, but then what happened was it uh, turned around and uh, continued to go higher. We're only at, we're at 44.16 now, folks. Remember the number we're watching is 44.21. I'd like to see that happen in the next 30 minutes. And uh, that would take out the previous week's high. And then if the market rolled over from that level, uh, that would be a potential for uh, the market to uh, roll over. But that's uh, the main thing. Regarding that, the crude oil, the crude oil is now down $1,000 from the 78% uh, level. And it looks like it's, uh, it's breaking now as we speak. And I think we've got a chance here for the thing to uh, actually uh, move. Uh, now, we got the bonds trading at 02. Remember, if you did that at even money, you want to put your stop at 06. And uh, that's what I would be doing because you don't have to risk more than a couple hundred dollars on those 382s because when they work, they really work very, very well. So remind ourselves, and I keep saying this, just the reason why I say it is because the broken record was set by uh, – Mark Douglas, we'll have Paula on on Monday. Paula Douglas will be on on Monday. Uh, she'll be chatting with us uh, at that point, so we'll be uh, doing that also. Okay, now, one other question that someone asked was about the uh, Apple. Uh, I'll bring Apple up here just for a second, and we'll take a quick look how Mr. Appel is doing. And uh, here it is. Get it up here. Well, it uh, made a 78% level yesterday. And uh, that was probably another indication that the uh, I still don't believe. Hold on one second. Let's get this up here so everybody can see it. I still don't believe that uh, that this is a bull market in Apple. I at the best we might get an ABCD up here at about 147 because the the bigger target is way down here at 132. It's it's quite apparent that that's what we're looking at. So. Uh, that's what I'm watching here uh, with the Apple. I think it's uh, it's quite important. Someone asked me to just do the silver, and I will. Just give me one second here, and we'll pull the silver up, uh, get it up to me. I'll tell you the one that's really surprised me, folks, and, and I don't get surprised very often, but the copper has really surprised me. Just give, We'll do copper here as soon as I finish with the silver, and you'll see where we are today. We're almost at the 50% level here. At uh, 33.73, let's get the silver up here. Then we'll switch over to copper, because copper might be telling us that maybe uh, you know I'm all wet and this thing is going to uh, go up and make new highs. And believe me, folks, uh, that is certainly possible. But uh, I will be very, very surprised. Hold on a second. There is copper. Wow, this is really a big one. See, this is a. Uh, this is why you use stops, boys and girls. <laughs> wow, this is really a surprise. This is a big move here. Let's get this up here today because it. Uh, I didn't think it jumped that much. Hold on just a second here. There's a, when we went through the 78% level at 440, uh, that was a, a big sign. Now, let's just go back a little bit farther now, and we'll look at this to see where we are today from the high that we made way back in May. The 78% level comes in at uh, 69, and we're setting at 62 right now. So uh, very easily make that error. There was a beautiful 135 pattern. The trend line was coming down, but boy, when we exploded through that uh, yesterday, uh, once we went above 42, boy, it was telling you you don't want to stand in front of that. So that's it. And by the same token, you know maybe the S&P is going to go to. Uh, 4440 or 4460 and that's still a bear market folks because the high was 44 4560 above 4560 Walter and I wave to us as we move into the sunset boys and girls wave to us as we move into the sunset whether that happens or not it's going to be really interesting to see but it will be a lot of fun no matter what 
Now, tomorrow I will be on the show. Uh, I will try to get Paula on for tomorrow, but I've already uh, set it up with her for Wednesday. Uh, Monday, Monday, try Wednesday is uh, Jim Bartolone. You don't want to miss that one. Uh, we're going to try to have Stan Harley on on Tuesday. And uh, we have Jim, uh, Tim Boss will be the following Monday. So we'll have that. I'm going to try to get Norm Winsky on the air again one more time. And uh, we've had several requests to listen to Norm, and we'll like to have him on because he's got some really good things. You realize in copper, folks, we've taken out the July high today in copper at uh, 463. We got up to 464 today, and uh, we're trading at 462 right now, so that's important. So I will catch you folks on the flip side tomorrow. May God bless. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Welcome back, folks. We got markets open. We got the S&P trading a couple points higher on the open. We're positive by 43 right now. NASDAQ 100 positive by 152. The Dow surging. How about up 400 points on the Dow? 34,651 right now. And the Russell up a percent at $23 in the positive 2261. Let's jump over to commodities. Crude holding steady above 81 bucks. Just had a little bit of a drop off, though, at 9 o'clock. 